media, oh, let's talk about coconut oil. Okay, yeah. So there's been all this hype about coconut oil. Uh, let me say, let me rephrase that. Not hype. There's been all there's been a heated debate about coconut oil in in the last week or so since the American Heart Association came out with their latest report that coconut oil is not good for uh, cardiovascular health. And um, I used to believe, like maybe some of you, I was led to believe by some very well-known online health um, influencers that coconut oil was a miracle food and cured all ailments, okay? Some of you probably still think that. And so uh, this was after I'd gotten well from cancer, but it was not, you know, it was, it was sort of that in-between years where I was really experimenting with a lot of different diets. And I did. I experimented with the Weston Price diet, the paleo diet, you know, um, all kinds of stuff. And uh, so, so I used to think coconut oil was like amazing and, uh, and you know, it was this sort of like panacea type product. And then when I started like really looking at the science of coconut oil, I realized it's, it's really not. And, you know, it's really way overhyped. And when you look at the healthiest people around the world with the lowest rates of heart disease, specifically, this is really a heart disease debate, uh, they don't eat coconut oil. So it's not even a part of their diet. Um, and uh, generally speaking, oils are a, a not a whole food, right? I mean, oil is like sugar. Sugar is extracted from sugar cane. It's not a whole food. It can be extracted from beets. It can be extracted from corn. But that's not a whole food. Oil is extracted from a whole food, like an olive, like a coconut, right? So, uh, or an avocado. So, generally speaking, it's way better to eat whole foods. And I think as a culture, oh man, there's a tick on my arm right now. Crazy! But he, went, he was not biting, he was like crawling on my arm. Okay, a little tick break there. And now I don't know where he went, so I'm like totally freaked out. He must have come off my cat. Um, so I'm going to try to keep talking while not freaking out about a tick being somewhere in my vicinity. <laughs> okay, but the point about oils is, um, yeah, we, we just consume way too much oil. Way too much. Um, then you, like a little tiny bit of oil on a salad can help with uh, absorbing fat soluble vitamins in like raw vegetables. So that's, that's okay, a little olive oil on the salad, no big deal. But I mean, we're frying with oil, cooking with oil, just weird. And I mean, some people are like, you know, eating coconut oil by the spoonful. I used to do that. Uh, you know, putting it in their smoothies and like this, this to me is, is not a good idea. And another sort of aspect of the oil debate is, you know, that Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, uh, who I've interviewed on the site, and I, everyone need to, needs to watch this. If you know anyone with heart disease, with high blood pressure, hypertension, um, you know, cardiovascular disease of any kind, has to watch this interview with Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn because he is the only doctor to prove total reversal of advanced heart disease. And he's, this, he's got an ongoing going study that's been going for two decades. Uh, and they've you know, followed and treated hundreds of patients with diet. And the diet they used to reverse heart disease was a plant-based diet, basically, essentially a vegan diet with no oils. No oils. So they took these advanced heart disease patients, advanced heart disease, and removed all the animal foods and all the oils from their diet and saw dramatic dramatic reversal, like upwards of 90% had no additional cardiac events, over 90%. And uh, in the control group, it was like 60% of them, something like that, I'm paraphrasing, but the, the details are on the post, had additional cardiac events, right? They had strokes, heart attacks, you know, their problems, because they didn't change their diet, and then the group that changed their diet, almost a perfect success rate. So. I think the American Heart Association, even though, yeah, in the past, maybe they've had some, you know, bad recommendations or sketchy recommendations, I think they're right on the money. If, you ha if I had heart disease, I would get off all the oils. I would follow Dr. Esselstyn's program, and he has a book called How to Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. Just, just want to hammer that home. He's the only guy, the only doctor, 
that has proven with patients in a long, long-term long study to reverse advanced heart disease. Everyone else is just spouting opinions and theory. He is the man. So, I think I made my point. <laughs>